Online Renaissance Men and Women. Today we're going to show you how to wire some LED cube lights to your auxiliary switches on your Jeep Gladiator. This will work for your Jeep JL or whatever Jeep you have and you have those factory auxiliary switches. We're going to wire up four LED pod lights today. We got two spot lights and we got two flood lights. And today we're gonna put these on the DV8 off-road dual pod light lower A pillar mount. First things first, we're gonna take a look around this beautiful area. We're just outside Pitt Lake right now. We got some planes in the sky doing acrobatics. We got mountains all around, a beautiful sunset here. Good little baby coming. First things first, we're going to show you how to put the uh, DV8 mount together here real quick and then we'll get to the wiring of the lights. So this is the DV8 dual mount. We're just going to chuck these little gaskets on here. It comes with some nice little gaskets to protect your paint. You're going to pop these little circles off. Pretty self-explanatory how it goes on. That's it. Okay, so something really important here, you're going to want to put your LED cube lights on the mount before you mount the mount to the Jeep, or you're going to have a hell of a time to get these pod lights onto this mount. Because with all pod lights, you got to let your little uh, nut fall into there. And there's just no way to do all that while the mount's on the Jeep. Take your nut and you gotta get make it fall into the little groove. It's a little groove there, perfectly for the nut to fall into. Don't snug it all the way, just, let's just get them on there first. Now we need the other side, same thing. Okay, that's our, uh, this is our floodlight. We're gonna put our floodlight on the bottom and then our spotlight on the top. Okay, there we go. We got it all set up. Looks pretty good. If you want, you can, or you probably should, just to be safe. Some of this stuff doesn't always come fully tight. You can go around with your little Allen key and just tighten all these up. Make sure they're all good all the way around each pod light. Okay, you're just gonna want to get your little uh, Jeep socket kit from your dash or wherever you keep yours. So we're gonna remove all four of these bolts. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're just gonna plug in our uh, electrical harness here. This one carries two lights, which is great. The other ones are all, they're both singles, so. We'll have to figure something else out there. Okay, cheers. It's about getting dark here. It's about time we get these uh, lights set up. So, cheers. Okay, we're at our auxiliary switches here. We got one, two, three, and four. Three and four is uh, 15 amps. So I worked it out. Each one of these pod lights runs 40 watts. So that's a total of 160 watts which is gonna equal under 15 amps. So we're gonna hook it all four of these up to our number four auxiliary switch. We're just gonna cut it off. We got our battery disconnected, of course. So we got her on there, now we're just gonna crimp it. that now we're on the driver's side here we have all kinds of cords here one of these is each hooked up to each pod we have way too much stuff that we don't need this is a fuse here this is your battery hookup 
We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need this relay thing. It's all, it's all on the auxiliary switches. So we're just gonna cut all that stuff right off. Get rid of all that mess. Got some more here. Now we're gonna stretch her out, make sure we have enough to get over across. Okay, so these, these two pod lights, they have two separate wires. Luckily on the other side, the two pod lights are connected into one wire. So that's gonna help us out a lot. We don't need one of these wires. We don't need two big wires running across the engine bay. So we're gonna cut this one short. And then we're gonna splice it into this wire here. I'm no electrician by the way, but uh, you guys will probably rip me in the comments if the proper way to do this and everything, go ahead rip me apart on there. I've really fell in love with these uh, self-stripping tap connectors since I use them on my uh, on my resistors for my lights and stuff and they're really going to help me out with this job as well. So once one side's blocked so we're going to take our uh, our cut wire here and we're going to push that into the blocked side and it's going to stop like so. Now we're gonna get onto our black, black and black. Just wrap that on there. Not very professional, I forgot to bring my pliers, so I gotta use my crimp tool somehow, hopefully to crimp this down. Okay, so now we got both of our self, uh, self stripping uh, tap connectors on. So now both of these lights here are connected into one line, which we're gonna run over here. Okay, same thing as the other side. We're gonna use the uh, self-stripping uh, connectors. My new favorite uh, electrical toy here. There we go. And the reason we're doing the quick, quick release here on the auxiliary switch is so we can, if we ever decide that we wanna change our lights out, we can just easily disconnect it and uh, set up a new set. Okay, so we got our red wire here. We're down to the last two wires. That's all we got left. All four pods, cube lights are all hooked up. We're just gonna strip our red wire here. A little twist. Now we have the male, I think, part of our quick connect. And put that in. Last wire, our black one, black is the ground. For the ground, we picked up a heat shrink uh, ring terminal. So here on the Jeep, we have these uh, ground posts here. I'm just gonna connect the ground up to that. So it's not even, nothing's touching the battery at all here, which is really nice. We can hook up other stuff to that. And here's our uh, quick connector. That's in. Okay, we're in the Jeep. The battery's all hooked up. We hooked it up to auxiliary switch four, which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and push it and see what happens. <laughs> Bada bam, there it is. And another cool thing here with these auxiliary switches, I'm gonna show you here. Auxiliary switches, there we go, we're on four. Something cool here you can do, you can, um, so now it's on latching when I push it. If I wanna change the power source, I can run it directly off the battery so the vehicle can be off and I can still run these just off the battery. Okay, we're just cleaning everything up. We got it all taped up, all of our connectors here. Trying to make this look as professional as possible here. The zap strap there.
Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, LED cube light install with the DV8 mount. We showed you guys how to wire it to auxiliary wire four, which is a 15 amp. All these lights in total is running about 13 amps, so we're just under. We should be good. We'll keep you posted if anything happens, but I'm 100% positive we'll be just fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers for now.